it kind of falls under a wider banner of that whole just say yes thing. You know, if something's yeah. presented to you, then go for it. Don't hesitate. Give it a go, even if you're not sure how you'll work that out afterwards. Yeah. And I think that's really and I've got a terrible, but hopefully quite good at the same time example on this, which is it's not a work thing and an opportunity, but it's again under that how sometimes signing yourself up for something or taking on a challenge or even giving yourself a deadline forces action that wouldn't necessarily have been there. Yeah. So behind the wonderful wall of Inspiration Nation logos that's behind me, if you are if you're watching on YouTube, um, or you pick this up on Joe's social somewhere. Ryan knows there's a wonderfully decorated room behind me that I've been working on and been a big ongoing project for quite a while now. Low we're doing if you count a hallway, we're doing three rooms at once, which is quite a mammoth task. Um, I did utter the phrase last night of we will never decorate three rooms at the same time ever again, which is randomly popped into my head as I walk through. Um, but we were looking, part of the end result of this is getting someone to come in and lay some flooring down. So we decided to speculatively go to the flooring place and have a look around. And I was very much in my set, well, just look, get an idea on price, but we won't commit to anything yet. They then said about coming to do a fitting. And I said, oh, let's just, let's, let's do it. Let's get them in for it. We can make it work. So we agreed to get them to come in to, to measure up, which was today, actually, this morning. But what that meant was they needed enough room to move around. So we got ourselves so far into a job where everything was a mess everywhere. But I knew that by this morning, we had to get to a certain point. And I really, the last couple of days, we really pushed ourselves. And I don't think I'd have done as much as I did if I didn't have that goal there because we'd said yes to another timing thing, which I say isn't necessarily the best example, but it's one of those where I've created a situation for myself by being like, Yes, let's go on and do it on the wider bit, and especially how you're talking about with you know professional opportunities or sometimes things outside of it. It's that putting being available for things when they come along as much as being open to opportunities. So one part yeah. of it is saying you know then um, yes, I'll do it, and I would dare say Ryan, and we talked this story loads of times on here as to how you and me came to know each other that we're doing this podcast now, but it all came to me asking for volunteers in work to help with a project which was to do with making some videos, and you put your hand up and said oh yes please and I dare say you could probably trace a direct correlation from that decision to say yes to your trajectory and where you are in your professional life now because of the exposure that not because of that specific activity but the chain yeah. of events that followed after it yeah. and you didn't know that that chain of events was going to happen that might have been a once and done and nothing ever happened again off of it. And we never spoke to each other again yeah. or it led to you getting to mix in different circles seeing it and again mo Again, saying yes with this person, saying yes with that person, getting to speak to someone else. And it just created this chain of events because of that mentality of, yes, let me try that. Yes, I'll give it a go. Yes, I'll do that. Um, and I think the background bit behind that is you don't always know when there's opportunities are going to come along. So I've I've had it multiple times over the years where people have wanted me when I'm coaching them or developing all their work for me to set out a really linear path where they're going to go. And that's a concept. It doesn't, that's, you know, it very rarely works like that. It's more about what what are this what type of job would you like to do? Not what's the job title and where does it sit, but what are the things you would like to do? Then what are the skills you need to do those things? And then development is working on those skills. And then when the right opportunity that's just like you'd like it or kind of like you'd like it or in that right area comes along, you've got those skills that then transfer into that. And that's that's that whole mentality of being, I think being open for opportunities isn't just being someone who will say yes rather than procrastinating, but it's working on your skills for the perspective opportunity to be ready for it as well. And I, I think that's, that's absolutely key as a part of it. Uh -huh.